Few people realise how rapidly Britain's radio industry has grown and scores of thousands of British workers are employed today in making wireless sets for here and overseas. This guillotine machine is cutting out transformer laminations. And this one is punching the steel plates for the chassis pans. Incidentally, 3,000 selective multivalve superhead sets are being made here each week. Now for a spot of spot welding. This pile of tinfoil, a glad sight to any hospital collector, is wound between two strips of tissue paper, less than a thousandth of an inch in thickness, and it rapidly becomes a condenser. The girls in this room are not even allowed to powder their noses, for the most minute bit of foreign material between the paper and the foil would puncture it and ruin the condenser. These are the condensers on a cradle, which is placed in the vacuum ovens and thoroughly dried out, for condensers hate water in any shape or form. They remain here for several hours to be wax impregnated at a high temperature. Later, the condensers come out as one big piece of wax. The condensers are then separated and tested for short circuits and insulation flaws. A modern conveyor belt system takes the main parts to their proper operators and inspectors for finishing. Sometimes a one-way traffic system and at other times a double track to speed up production. This machine, which resembles a number of yo-yos going up and down, is actually winding transformers with wire finer than human hair and it winds six coils in one unit at the same time. This is the start of the assembly line, where the valve sockets are riveted on the chassis and all the other parts are carefully mounted. Here is one of many tests made in order to turn sets out as balanced units with no tone distortion. Finally, our completed chassis are ready to be transferred to another factory. Now let's glance at the woodworkers, turning out the cabinets. This routing machine cuts out the fancy grill to obtain that attractive fresco effect for the set front. And this little mould reminds one rather of a hatter's. It shapes the arch of the cabinet. Here the cabinets are inspected and meet a sudden end if they show any flaws which would spoil their appearance or acoustics. Now for the loudspeakers stamping out the chassis. The little gadget which the girl is holding reminds one unpleasantly of dentists, but really it's a tiny high-pressure air gun blowing dust away. These operators are adjusting and balancing components to ensure that the distortion of an unbalanced set is eliminated. Otherwise your radio reception would be transformed into something like this. instead of this. Now for the final assembly and we're through. Incidentally, a balanced super headset, although but 14 inches high, has more component parts than a motor car. It is the magic music box of today. Mm -hmm.